There are deep problems associated with the fact that you can't copy information in quantum mechanics, which is basically the way that your iPhone or whatever it is stores information and prevents errors entering into the memory of the computers that we're all familiar with. It's basically copying information. You can't do that in quantum mechanics. It's called the no cloning theorem. So it's a tremendous challenge. Engineers have had to develop very clever algorithms and ways of trying to store information in quantum computer memory and build the memory such that it's resilient to errors. And it turns out that the solutions that are being proposed and explored look like the solutions that nature itself uses in building space and time from the quantum theory that lives on the boundary. It's really strange. A remarkable thing for me is an intimate relationship between black hole physics and quantum computing. If we go back right to the beginning of the work on black holes in, in the 1970s, Jacob Bekenstein, a colleague of Stephen Hawking's actually, Bekenstein noticed in a simple calculation that you can answer the question, how much information can a black hole store? That's a strange thing to say because the model of a black hole is pure geometry pure space-time. Now how does something store information? You need some structure.